Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Camouflage of the World. I am Mike B, and today we're going to be taking a look at the South Korean or Republic of Korea Model 2010 uniform for the ROC, or when I say ROC, that means Republic of Korea, Army, Navy, and Air Force. The Marines have their own uniform, and I've done a video on that, and I think they've changed that uniform since. But as far as I know, this is the current issue for ROC troops, besides the Marines. So it features a pattern that's pixelated, of course, as you can see already, and it's got black, dark olive green, sea green, and medium brown on a kind of khaki background. So it's a pretty effective pattern. I've had some people on my previous rock pattern videos that commented and said they were in the, the army or the navy or something like that. This happens to be an army shirt. We'll go up and take a closer look in a second, but they said it actually performs fairly well, like on coastal areas and in the jungles and stuff. It might be a little bit too khaki, but overall, it seems that the general consensus is that most rock soldiers are pretty happy with this pattern. So I'll take their word for it. I wish I could find a set in my size of the hat and stuff. And I wish I could actually go out and test this where I'm at in Northern Wisconsin in the United States, because it seems like it might actually do okay around here. But Again, finding uniform or military uniforms in size extra fat, which is what I require, is uh, particularly difficult. So here's to hoping. Maybe someday I can track one down. This is like a size medium regular or small regular, so definitely not going to fit. Anyway, yeah, it's a pretty simple pattern. It's you know, following with the pixelated stuff, the you know turn of the millennium kind of fad, the early 2000s. Everybody went to digital stuff, but some people can pull it off. Some people can't. <coughs> UCP. <coughs> But it looks like this is a pretty decent pattern. All right, let's go up and take a little closer look at the actual cut of this shirt, and then we'll wrap the video up. So right away you can see you've got the nice slanted breast pockets, which is a really good feature in my opinion. I like that. Uh, I don't like the ACU cut where it's got the almost horizontally facing pockets. I like this. Uh, there's no waist pockets. You got a little cuff right here that is Velcro. It's closed with Velcro, adjustable. I guess it maybe a unit or branch patch Velcro area and then the person's name I think or no maybe that says army or whatever and then that's their yeah that's their name okay so and then this is I you know probably a corporal it's two stripes is pretty universal for being corporal I don't know what the actual rank is called because I don't speak Korean and I don't really know the rank structure anyway kind of getting off on a little tangent there I don't know what this badge is above that if anybody from Korea knows and then this looks like jump wings I don't know if it's specifically Korean jump wings, but yeah. So you know, if you're from Korea and you know what those mean, let me know in the comments. You got epaulets up there, and then you've got another patch that I believe is a flag patch, right? Because it's rectangular. That's what I would assume. It's on the right shoulder. So yeah, a pretty simple cut. You can see the pattern up closer. It's kind of got that nice, I love the shade of olive green. It works really well. And then that brown, the sea green is kind of an oddity. That's why I kind of want to experiment up here in the North Woods and see if it actually does any good and if I were to design this pattern for up here I would just go with a little bit less khaki other than that it looks fairly decent so yeah that's what we've got we'll wrap the video up now overall a pretty decent pattern it's got the visual appearance of looking good uh, that is actually pretty important for you know people people don't really realize that looking good in a uniform actually makes you want to wear it with more pride even more so than the standard rock soldiers do which is an insane amount of pride um but yeah when uniforms look good like this the pattern the cut and everything it really it just makes you look more professional and it's kind of a psychological thing um and, and that's my opinion but i've also it's been corroborated by a lot of different people i look at ucp again i keep bringing that up whenever we talk about digital patterns terrible um, I hated it when I had to wear it. It was just ridiculous. If I had to wear something like this, it would be a lot better and I'd actually take a lot of pride in wearing it. So um, the, the pattern's good. The cut's good. Again, really don't have anything bad to say about it. Uh, again, if you're from South Korea, specifically if you served in the ROC military um, and you wore this or saw it being worn, let me know in the comments how it actually works and what your opinion is on it. It's fine if you don't like it. I just kind of want to know from somebody that's got firsthand experience. Um, the South Korean, the ROC military has been insanely strong allies of the United States for well, since the Korean War. So, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, and if you were stationed in Korea as a U.S. soldier and you saw these out in the field, let me know, too. So, anyway, that's really all I've got, just kind of going over the basic patterns. The whole point of why I do these videos is so, if you find something like this at a flea market or at a Goodwill or a Salvation Army or a thrift store, anything like that, 
you'd be able to go, oh, I remember seeing that on YouTube, and that's from Korea, if it doesn't have any patches on it that say where it's from and stuff. Oh, that's, you know, that's from Korea, that's from Germany, that's from Bulgaria, Italy, you name it. Just kind of like a feel identification series. And I freaking love camouflage. It's so cool and so interesting. Everybody's got their own unique take on it. Just like helmets, except there's more of these. This is insane. I think Korea's gone through 40 different, different uniforms since the 1960s. It's been insane. They're keeping up with the U.S. But... Anyway, so yeah, that's really all I've got on this. If you want to support the channel financially and help me be able to get stuff like this to make videos on, uh, the link to my Patreon is in the description. And also, you can now become a member on my YouTube channel after years of them not letting me have that feature. So either way, that really does support the channel. And it's a dollar a month on Patreon, five bucks a month or more on both uh, platforms gets you access to my Discord server, which is pretty fun. A lot of cool things, a lot of information exchange there, fun times, funny stuff, uh, you name it. And yeah, it just helps be able to afford videos like this, doing ballistic tests, um, just shooting videos like firearms, historical firearms videos and stuff like that. Really, it really helps me be able to, or ex it helps me be able to expand because I can only afford so much out of pocket and the more crowdfunding we have, the cooler the content we can make. So if you can't support the channel financially, that's totally fine. I totally get that. Uh, you watching and hitting that like button, which does matter in the algorithms, is just enough and interacting with the video. And hopefully you learned something. If you did learn something, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's all I've got for this one. So thanks for watching again, and we'll see you on the next episode of Camouflage of the World.